camera, 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 camera. I like camera. <laughs> Hello, Serena here from SincerelySerena.com. I'm a crafty mama that loves to teach, create, and inspire others to be their best selves. If you were on this video, you were probably an out-school teacher or you want to learn about Canva because that's what we're going to learn today. In a previous video that I will link right here, I talked about Facebook ads and how you should format your picture to correlate with Facebook ads to make your classroom picture show up in a Facebook ad. So today we are going to jump on over to Canva and I will show you how I design my course class pictures in order for them to be optimized in the Facebook land. So let's go hop on over to my computer and I will show you everything that you need to know about Canva. Canva is awesome. I use Canva for everything. You can see my designs right here. Um, I did choose to upgrade my membership to a paid membership, but you could do a lot of things with your free membership. So, but today's video is all about creating your class picture to upload um, onto OutSchool and also for your Facebook ad for your class. So if you go right here to Facebook ad, and if you don't already see a Facebook ad, just search in the toolbox or the search box for Facebook and the ad should probably pop up. So go on there and you can of course pick whatever you like. Um, they have lots of different um, templates if you wanna use a template. I generally, since we are, remember I told you in my last video why you should not put text in your class picture um, is because Facebook will not register it as a valuable um, as valuable content to their users. So they will not promote it as easily. So I just usually start with a clean slate. So there's lots of things that you can do. So remember all the pictures that you find on Canva are copyright free, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I would do when I create my class. So let's pretend that I'm creating a cover for my 4th of July. So we can go to photos and to search and I will just type in 4th of July and see what happens. Look at all these really cool pictures. So I would click on an image that I like. Let's say I like this image a lot. You click on it, it populates onto your form and you just drag it until your picture keeps, um, until your picture is in the square or the rectangle. Let me move my head. Um, and then you're good to go. This is a really good, clean picture that you can go ahead and name. Let's say we'll name it 4th of July. Um, and then download. So when you download it, make sure you download it as a ping. Okay, so that was easy. So I already have an image for my 4th of July class. So let's pretend um, it's a little, it's a little different. If I delete this, delete. Then let's say I'm doing, um, I don't know, a wizard, a Harry Potter wizard class for some reason. So I can search into the photos. Let's see. I don't know if they'll have photos, but let's see. Harry Potter and it will come up as related. Scroll down. They do have pictures of the book. This is a German picture of the book. But say I don't find any good pictures. I can go to elements and type in the same thing. And these are these are cartoons or these are illustrations. So let me type in Harry Potter. Let's see what I come up with. So see, I have the HP logo. I have a, a Harry Potter. But you can also come up with words that kind of surround your subject matter. So Harry Potter is a wizard. So maybe I'll look up magic. Um, so here is a wand. Here are some like pixie dust, some magic crystals. So those are cool. So you can find all types of images. So maybe I don't want a plain white background. I can go down here and choose background. Um, and let's see, let's find purple because Harry Potter is purple and gold. This one is kind of cool. So maybe I want that as a background and then I want to do magic. Boop, 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 boop. So you, I can enlarge this. I can shrink it down. So maybe I'll use this wand and I'll use the image of Harry Potter right here. Boom. So this is awesome. This conveys that it's Harry Potter without using copyrighted images from JK Rowling or Warner Brothers. Um, because I have a cartoon picture that kind of looks like Harry Potter, 
um, and I have a wand. So, and so maybe, let's say maybe I want um, a background that has pattern. So I like this purple background, but maybe I want like something better. So I can go to elements and look for a pattern. So I think I liked that magic, this like magic pixie dust. Isn't that cool, these stars? So let me put my hairy back in its place. Um, and we can rotate the image. Look at this. Boop. We can make them bigger. Isn't that cool? All right, so that kind of looks magical. So let me get rid of this wand underneath it. I'll just put that to the side right now. So I'll just put this right here. And so let's say that I'll make that bigger. Do you see how the X's and O's goes in front of Harry's face or Harry's body? So what I want to do is I want to click on that, that image and press this position button on the right, the top right, and I will send it backwards and it automatically goes behind Harry. Okay, and so same thing with the wand. If I want the wand in front of the stars, okay, so right now it's behind it. Again, I just Make sure it is the box that it's in is highlighted and press position and bring it forward and there we go. So sometimes the images, the cartoon images that are in Canva, you can um, you can change the colors, which is really cool. So what you do is you will highlight it and see these two pictures. Let me exit out. See these two boxes on the on the left? Those are the colors that are that is already in the image. But say I want like a brighter gold color or I wanted a darker color. So here are my colors. So what I do is I, I will click on the box that I want and then choose a picture or choose a, a color. And I want to say, let's see, I'm going to try to get that like a, like an old world gold, like that color. And there you go. See how my, my X's kind of stand out farther and that's it. That's how you would change the color. I don't believe um, it's not going to let me change the colors of Harry or Oh, look, and so look at my wand. I can change the color, colors of my wand as well. So maybe I wanna change the light blue colors to a purple or a gray to make them stand out or a gold, a bright gold. And there we go, you guys. Very simple and easy to you and super, super, super simple. And it is all copyrighted free. So you can feel free to download these and use them as your out school class picture. Okay, guys, I will see you guys next time. See you later.